the heat can raise the risk of fires, destructive wildfires, and prolonged power outages that become all too common here in California. Now a couple of UC Berkeley alumni have come up with some solutions. Mary Lee shows us the power line sensors meant to keep communities safe. For the founders of Gridware, their project is deeply personal. They developed a sensor and software that can detect power line failures and can prevent wildfires from ever happening in the first place. I spoke to them about why their work is so meaningful to them. Tim Barrett knows all too well how monster wildfires can devastate a community. He remembers the exact moment he discovered the relationship between power lines and wildfires. In Australia, I was originally a lineman and I unfortunately experienced what's known now as Black Saturday. This was an event where 50 fires were ignited by power lines in one day and 187 people passed away. And I was there, boots on the ground, and, and we were there working together with the emergency first responders. Motivated to make a difference, Tim co-founded Gridware with UC Berkeley engineering classmate Hall Chen. They existed. created a solar-powered sensor that continuously measures vibrations, the motion of the poles and lines. Using artificial intelligence, they can identify specific vibrations and the conditions that cause them. As soon as those vibrations or anomalies are detected, their technology can alert power companies in real time of the danger. It's then up to the utility company to shut down the power to those lines. We like to think of the grid as a guitar, where the conductors are the strings and the poles are the frets. And when you have a physical event uh, that's impacting the conductors, uh, it creates vibrations that are unique and very different than what you see on a day-to-day -day basis. And so we monitor those, those vibrations. A branch will break and it will fall onto the lines just like this. And it remains there on the lines for up to hours before it actually ignites. And only when it ignites does it fall down to the ground and then start a fire. And so we detect the moment that the vegetation contacts the lines. It's not just preventing wildfires, but also helping crews get the electricity back on faster in a power outage. But every time you cut the power, the utility has to patrol every meter of the line, and that can take hours. And so knowing exactly what has happened, where it has happened, allows them to send the crew directly to the location with the right equipment, remove the hazard or make the repair, and then quickly switch the power back on. Their sensors also monitor real-time environmental weather factors like temperature, pressure, wind, and humidity. In California alone, they place their sensors in the highest risk areas, covering a thousand miles of our power grid. Uh, I grew up in California, uh, and to be able to actually make a difference for the communi communities uh, around my home state, uh, and now in other states as well uh, in the country, um, it's, it's, uh, it's good for the soul. I remember the first time that we received the call back from the utility with a confirmation that we had stopped the wildfire. That was their exact words. Without your alert, this would have been a forest fire. That's a very emotional experience. For Tim and Hall, a future safe from ravaging wildfires powers their passion. Knowing their technology is already saving homes and lives gives them hope that real change to our challenging problems is possible. So Gridware has installed 13,000 sensors around the country in eight different states. It's working with 18 utility companies, including PG&E.